They tried to trade it, but we know that Goodell is moving up to the podium. Excuse Wait. me? Is oh, my goodness. Wow. Awesome. Tell, tell us what you think, Phil. Devin Witherspoon's pound for pound toughest player in the draft, feistiest player in the draft, my favorite player to study during the pre-draft process. You'll see it right here. It's actually the perfect highlight. <laughs> How many cornerbacks on the very first play of the game, this is the first offensive play of the game for Indiana, <laughs> set the tone for the rest of the game? This guy is a heat-seeking missile as a tackler. How many cornerbacks do we describe their tackling as the first trait that comes to mind? Devin Witherspoon is one of the exceptions to the rule. This guy is an absolute stud. He is going to come in and set a tone for this secondary that will bring back. We were just talking about some Legion of Boom memories. This is Legion of Boom-type toughness added to that Seattle secondary. I only have one comment, and it's this. The worst thing I've seen in any scouting report about this dude is too aggressive. Oh, <laughs> There's too no too. such thing when it comes to the defensive it's side of the ball. too all. violent. I mean, you, you look at Seattle, and you talked about it, HD, about Pete Carroll wanting to reset what he might have had with defense a while ago. You remember Richard Sherman. You remember the Legion of Boom. Witherspoon has that kind of an mm-hmm. edge. This is a guy who was a no-star prospect coming out of school. He got a scholarship in August after his senior year and went to Illinois. He was the only freshman to start that season. This is a dude who is built for this. He wants it. If there's a bad time to be had, he's coming to the party. And I love that he can play man coverage. He can play zone coverage. He has a high IQ. He tracks the football. But now in that secondary, you mm-hmm. have Jamal Adams, Quadre Diggs, mm-hmm. Tariq Woolen, <laughs> and now Devon Witherspoon. Yep. Unbelievable. Dang, he, he has, like, the feistiness reminds me of Cortland Sutton back in the day. Who, yes, yep. I know Cortland Sutton. There are some moments that if you go on YouTube, you're like, what is that? But, like, that dude would – Cortland Sutton would take on your left tackle if he could. He is completely fearless. Like, that yes. – I did not see that one coming from a million miles away. I love it. I got to be honest. He was the guy I was hoping the Raiders would draft. Go ahead. If Witherspoon, <laughs> if, if Witherspoon weighed Three. 340 pounds, they wouldn't let him play. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It would not be legal. <laughs> this but, is, you, but you also got to note, they're not done yet. They have the yep. 20th overall yes. pick as well. Mm-hmm. So it can get really, really dynamic in this draft for the Seattle yeah. Seahawks. This is also part – we have to remember, too, this is part of – they have this pick because of Russell Wilson. So, you know, Russell Wilson being moved to the, the Broncos gives them the situation where the Broncos season went wildly off the rails. And now Seattle is able to pick up another piece. It, a year ago, people were asking what the plan was for Seattle. Uh, now the plan seems to be pretty well in place. And the, yeah, the reason why this draft, why this event rules is because of what happened with Seattle last year. They went from a team that people thought was going to just kind of hover, like not be bad enough to be in the mix for a top quarterback, mm-hmm. but not be good enough to make the playoffs or really be relevant in the post-Russell Wilson era. Instead, the Broncos were so bad, it put the Seahawks in place with the top five pick, and the Seahawks absolutely crushed the draft. They basically aced their entire draft. It wasn't just Ken Walker the third. It wasn't just Abe Lucas and Charles Cross, their two offensive tackles. Tariq Wool and the defense, or close to defensive rookie of the year. Like, that changed everything for Seattle. If you're a team that's stuck in purgatory right now, look no further than what happened with Seattle last year. Which speaks to how we opened this whole show. Like, the, yep. this is the season of hope. Every fan base believes that they can do what Seattle did, or even to a different degree. We'll talk hope. about the Jackson. We don't live by the hope theory. We wish a would. if i could manifest uh, anything in the draft the raiders wouldn't have put me through this level of heartbreak over the last i don't know how do you feel about this i mean things are shaping up okay for your raiders right now yes no maybe i wanted witherspoon so now you know i don't know what's gonna happen thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus